So Matthew, I'm going to make an assumption here before we get started that you were probably the happiest guy in the province yesterday when you got the news. Yeah, probably. Uh, you're probably right. I'd say by assuming that um, it was an incredible day yesterday, and um, you know I. I've gotten lots of uh, congratulations, and uh, it's really appreciated, and I, uh, I thank everybody for that. Can you tell us a little bit about your day? I mean, when you woke up yesterday morning, I'm guessing you weren't expecting all this to happen. Well, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a crazy day. Like, I mean, it, uh, it came out around uh, 12 o'clock our time, and um, from there on, it was just, uh, you know, a lot of my phone kind of blew up a little bit, and... Um, you know, I had a lot of phone calls and, and stuff like that, so it was uh, it was exciting, like I said. Did you have a chance to, I'm sure you did by this point, talk to your family about it? How are they feeling? Yeah, my family's really proud, and, and uh, they're really happy for me. You know, they've seen uh, everything that's that's happened over the, uh, the last five years, and, um, you know, lots of ups and downs, and um, they've been bes beside me since I was, you know, five five years old, um, you know, starting the starting the skate. So it's uh, it's very exciting for them as well. And, um, you know, they've put just as much into it as, as I have. Was there ever a point, I mean, I know you've had a few professional tryouts to this point. Was there ever a point where you thought, they're going to, someone's, they're just going to overlook me. I'm never going to get that opportunity. Um, I think that the, there, there's always self-doubt. Um, but uh, for me, you know, I've, I've always been somebody that believed that I could do it. Uh, from a very young age and, and uh, you know sometimes um, you know different teams are looking for different things and and you have to realize that it doesn't always go your way and um, I was very very happy that uh, I could get it done that we could get it done and uh, it was exciting. How big of an influence has coach Flynn been on getting to where you're at now? Yeah Danny's been um, Danny's been been huge you know the, him and uh, and Daryl Young came in here, and um, they gave me an opportunity to play when my 19-year-old year. And then Danny's been um, great for me. Um, you know, we have a we have a good relationship, uh, player-coach relationship, and um, you know, he's given me a lot of opportunity, like I said, and um, taught me a ton about the game. When you look around that locker room, there's 11 now drafted players from NHL for NHL teams. That's going to make for one hell of a reunion in about 20 years, man. If everything turns out the way you guys are hoping. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of crazy, you know. I, I haven't heard of that. Um, you know, so many drafted guys or, or signed players um, in a long, long time. And uh, like you said, um, there could be a huge reunion here in, in uh, you know the later future. But uh, we're all really focused on uh, one goal, and um, we're excited about uh, what what could be happening down the stretch and and into the playoffs. And of course, Nathan Knoll is now property of the Chicago Blackhawks as well. So have you two had a chance to have a bite to eat, a coffee, and chat about what the future may hold? Uh, you know, a, a little bit. But, um, you know, I consider Nate a really good friend, and we've known each other since we were 12 or 13. So, um, you know, our bond's only grown closer over the last couple of years, and uh, it's kind of very exciting for both of us because now we can, you know, go to development camp, go to rookie camp, and, and, and know somebody there. So it's uh, it's very exciting, and, uh, and we're both excited about it. Beautiful. Matthew, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight.